How old do you have to be to determine if you are male or female? That question seems to be at the center of this particular debate, but it's also a huge center of controversy that can draw lots and lots of attention. And that also seems to be part of this debate. Listen to this exchange between blogger and author Matt Walsh and one lawmaker from Nashville. So you, 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 you have testified as to a lot of your own research. So I'm curious for what purpose you do that and what background you have to qualify you to speak to that. Well, my background that qualifies me to speak to this is that I'm a human being with a brain and common sense and I have a soul. And so therefore, I think it's a really bad idea to chemically castrate children. That is my experience. Um, also, I, I did. Now, it's true. I didn't I didn't go to college, but I did go to school long enough to learn how to read so I can read the data for myself. And that's exactly what I've done. Representative Clements, you're right. And for what purpose do you um, conduct your research and use this brain of yours? Mr. Walsh, you're recognized. I use it for the purpose of trying to protect children from being castrated and mutilated. That's one of the things I try to do. You don't use it to, thank you, Mr. Chairman. You don't use it to get clicks on your publication? Well, are you using it right now to try to get clicks with this interaction? On, no. I, 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 I really like the Mr. idea Walsh. of getting, uh, of, of drawing attention to the fact that this is happening to children. I know you seem to find it very amusing. I don't. This bill did move forward, but the debate is far from over. Tennessee Senate approving a bill limiting access for children trying to undergo transgender medical procedures. That's right. A bill that bans gender affirming care for children like puberty blockers, hormone treatments inconsistent with their sex at birth. Fox 17 News Jackie Del Pilar now live down at the Capitol with more on the vote this afternoon. And what's next for this measure? Scott and Megan, that vote came in just in the past 20 minutes. In fact, the Senate is still in session just behind those doors here. The vote remained along party lines with Republicans voting to support it. And I spoke with both sides ahead of today's vote. Senate Bill 1 aims to ban transgender youth from accessing what's known as gender affirming care. That includes medicine like puberty blockers and hormone treatments and surgeries that would alter a person's sex assigned at birth. Supporters say the intention is to protect children. Well, it helps the, the minor children who otherwise might be subjected to surgical procedures that remove body parts or uh, being prescribed medications that make permanent changes to a child's body. But opponents say these decisions are not made lightly and are made along with parents and physicians. What's your response to those who support the bill and say that uh, it's harmful for youth to be making these kind of decisions uh, before they're adults? We find that the majority of people who do this um, did indeed know early that this is something that they wanted to do. And I would just say inevitably, it doesn't really matter because this isn't a decision that should be made by the government. This is something that should be left to people um, and families to make with their with their medical providers. But Senator Johnson disagrees. And the main concern we hear from opponents is that uh, the government should not be involved in this type of medical decision. What is your response to that? Well, the state has a compelling interest to protect children. And uh, I've been up here for quite a while, and there hasn't been a year that I've served up here in this General Assembly that we haven't passed some type of legislation relative to the delivery of health care. And so the code is full of what we refer to as a prohibited medical procedure. This bill would only apply to people under 18.